Hey guys, I'm back. Part two of the arm training videos. Now we're gonna get away from our heavy set. Remember we talked about that? That was going with the barbells running the rack. Now I'm over here with my dumbbells. I really love the dumbbell rack running because this is where I started all this concept of training and being able to deliver a certain amount of resistance in a steady incrementing pace to get that muscle firing and functioning, okay? So this is what I'm going to be doing now. The same concept of rack running as you see. I'm going to be running the rack, baby. I'm going to be starting off with my lower denomination, probably about seven fives or five pounds, working my way up, doing some hammer curls. Reason why I'm doing hammer curls in this arm workout now because I need a different change of exercise. Why is that change of exercise important? Number one, the barbell is a power movement. The muscle is going to work A to B, as we know. It's got no problem there. What I'm saying now is I put in that hammer curl to try to influence a little bit of the outer portion of the bicep and also the brachialis. That's what that hammer curl will do for you. It gives you that feeling of lengthening the bicep as you're training with it because you're really pulling that bicep down, okay? So now, same thing, same approach. Let's get to some lower, lower denomination, work our way up and work my way back down. Again, rack running, process, migrating stimulation, keeping everything under control. Let's rock. I'm gonna be doing 10 reps each. Now you're starting to feel those biceps pick up a little bit from these hammer curls. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, more intensity. What I'm looking for here is that same feeling. You wanna feel that full contraction. You wanna feel that muscle filling up, okay? So continue to move down the rack. counting with me you notice I'm getting a little bit heavier so I'm going from 10 reps 8 reps now I'm getting down to 5 reps get ready to grab me about a 20 pound dumbbell I'll go back up to about 8 to 10 reps with these 20s there we go execution pay attention to your movement yeah These 20 pounds feel like a muscle, only because I'm not used to it right now. But I'm not gonna force my body to accept that resistance at that level and work my way up to it. So I've already worked my way up to the peak of it. Now we're gonna train this muscle to decelerate a little bit, work my way back down, controlling the contraction, adding a little bit more intensity. And sometimes you really get a feeling of where that unbalance is in one of your extremities. For example, my right arm is really, really behind right now. As I'm curling, I can feel it like catching up. This one's really swole, feels tight. This one's like really loose. It's like, come on, baby, let's get into the game. Too much time, downtime. So what I'll be doing here is slowing down my range of motion, okay? I'm gonna be slowing it, curling it slower and creating more intensity, because I'm not about speed, I'm not about weightlifting, I'm about muscle activation. There we go. Gotta wake up these, gotta wake up this muscle, baby. But mind you, this is only, it's 15 pounds. I feel like a million. Let's get it. Control contraction. Yeah. 
as that weight gets lighter, the contraction becomes more intense, but I can I have more control over the weight. I can move it better. So that's the things you want to look out for when you're doing this type of workout. What's the muscle doing? How do you control this muscle's operation, this contraction? it down last set best set quality yeah Whew. man 10 pounds never felt so heavy okay we get the concept rack running Set your weight lower end, work your way up to the top end. Create that intensity as you slowly move through the pattern of weights. Your rep speed will be fluctuating because when that weight starts getting a little bit heavier, you're gonna be moving a little bit slower. But then I need you to contract the muscle more rather than worry about increasing the weight, okay? The benefit here is to get a fully 100% quality contraction, moving a resistance that your muscle fibers can handle, okay? and it's a fluent motion. You're not banging, you're not doing all this, trying to squeeze and strain to get that muscle activated, okay? Exercise, move the muscle, work with the body, all right? This is what rack running is all about. Five pounds, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and bring it back down the rack. Part two of the Vince Taylor Arm Workout Program. Barbell rack running, dumbbell rack running, special event is coming up next. See you on the other side.